Stangibalisco here uh, from high above the planet Earth where a violent thunderstorm line is raging known as a derecho. But I'd like to come down to the planet to my home in the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Amateur Radio and show you a circuit known as a Pierce Crystal Oscillator Circuit. That's the starting point for this video. A Pierce crystal oscillator, the crystal being that thing right there which determines the frequency. It's kind of an old-fashioned circuit used mainly now by amateur radio operators. This is an n-channel junction field effect transistor and the crystal goes between the gate and the drain. If it were a bipolar transistor it would go between the uh, between the base and the collector. And that's how you can recognize a Pierce oscillator design, is that the crystal is between the top two electrodes in the active device. But if you want to vary the frequency of that crystal just a little bit, uh, and normally it's a, at a fixed frequency and you can't change it, or ideally it shouldn't change. You would want it to remain, say, 7.035 megahertz in the 40 meter amateur band but if you wanted to pull the frequency a little bit so you could get a slight range a few kilohertz at the most all you need to do would be to add an inductor in series with the crystal and its blocking capacitor like that a variable inductor and of course you pull the frequency by varying the inductance of this component and it's really pretty straightforward and simple. They call that a variable crystal oscillator or VXO. In this case, a Pierce VXO. I am an amateur radio operator. Call sign W1GV Whiskey 1. Good Vibrations. And I will say so long for now. And 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon and retreat to my safe orbit where I'm not affected by the violence of these thunder showers far below. Until next time, have a good day. Stay away from those derechos. So long.